Painted face, china doll, I wear this mask so no one knows that under this exterior of perfected painted strokes of concealment and artificial beauty lies a wounded soul that's choked, body full of anger, resentment and pain. I cannot understand, they say, how you with so much hope can lay there so defeated, rejected there to mope. I sigh at the thought, if only they could see, that the person they are looking at truly isn't me. For you are so pretty, clever and so strong, admired by others and never can be wrong. So I wear this mask of makeup, brush my hair through, to face the blurred world and do what I should do, to continue all as normal, live out reality, and keep the screaming Amy deep with inside me. The hours pass and the days slip by unnoticed. I do not follow time, as I'm lost in my own time, an endless stream that I drift along. I'm not living, but simply existing. My mind is on a constant loop, the same bleak thoughts go round and round, over and over. They are questions that I have no answers for, and answers I wish not to know. I don't want to talk about it, I do not think it will help. It is better to try and put all these thoughts, questions and doubts in a box. Close the lid, lock it, and shove it to the back of my head. I physically, mentally, emotionally can't deal with them, and to get them out of the box and open up for discussion is not what I want to do. I just want it to go away. I feel trapped in my stupid, crazy mind. Shell. A home left without its inhabitant. My body, a shell without its soul. Me, shell, body. Touches the sensation of contact, a sense I cannot feel. Speech, there is no need. Words, pointless sounds which try to give meaning. Mind, endless looping thought. Hurt, for that is all I feel now. Nothing. To be nothing is an escape from the pain. Death, away from it all? Answer, question. Me, victim, a victim of my own cause. I've locked myself away in my own prison. The bars that hold me in are but shards of light, the appearance of something solid and strong, a structure that can't be broken, yet they are but only illusion that give the impression of strength and security. As I can pass my hand through them, I could easily walk between those bars, so easy it seems, but it's not possible for me to do. I can't walk through my self-imposed jail simply because I am weak, unable even to stand. If I walked through the bars, it would mean escape, but an escape to what, I ask? for I see nothing on the other side, only a grey mist, empty and pointless. There isn't a future through those bars on that side. I only want the past, but that is broken also, a dark shadow looming behind. So I remain, victim, a victim of my own cause, held in limbo is where I am, stuck behind illusionary bars. At the bottom of the sea is where she laid, in the dark shadows where no one ever came, thrown overboard from a ship on rocky waves, down and down she'd fallen, never to be saved. Given up all thought of rescue, her mind was set on doom, and so it was here hidden, she lay in darkened gloom. The endless crying has left a hollow hole in my chest, a void which simply can't be filled, like hunger pains, but I am not hungry. The thought of food makes me sick, eating just makes the pain worse, makes my stomach churn, churn with pity, self-loathing and despair. In a sad comforting way, I like to feel this endless sickness, as it reminds me I exist, as I feel. My body is numb to everything and everyone, the barriers have been put up and I don't want anyone to come close. To talk or express feeling is a chore. To smile is an effort. To cry is the only thing I seem able to do without trying. Days of crying. Weeks of crying. I don't even know what I'm crying for. Except that all seems pointless now. I see no point. No point at all. The burning anger I felt has faded into a constant burnt out lump of sickness which weighs me down constantly. It sits in my stomach, often lurching upwards into my heart, which I swallow back down with a horrible, sinking thud. I'm not able to find clarity. My head is in a constant fog, which never lifts. I'm really tired of thinking, so I don't. But then without realising, my mind unconsciously finds its way back to my troubled thoughts, which each pose a question and lead down many paths, all with dead ends. I've been down them all a thousand times, explored every possible option, but always end up against a brick wall. A wall I have no idea of how to break. It is a vicious cycle that I seem eternally bound to go round. Trying to forget isn't possible. It's almost as though I don't even want to. That to stay forever frozen in this state and able to move on means I won't ever truly lose my connection with him. She sat there in the silence, the quiet and the still. No one could see her, no one even knew. But as she gazed into darkness, nothing there she saw. As looking in onto herself was nothing but a hole. I can't remember who said it or where I heard it, but they were right. If depression could be seen on the surface of my skin like a physical pain rather than an internal one, then maybe people would understand better how it is I feel, bruised but on the inside. I should
turn myself inside out, then I'd look horrendous, and then maybe people would see what can't be seen. I hate who I am, but who would know that? I'm unable to function, I can't concentrate on anything, and my attention span is short. I simply can't think straight. Mind always wanders, back to the loop of continuing thought. I lie awake at night, I can't sleep, my mind is too occupied with so little drama, a drama I'm sick of. I can move in constant repeat, in which I haven't worked out how to press the stop button. I realise that I'm not even aware that I'm thinking, or where I am, until I realise I'm staring at the TV, and not taking on board what I'm seeing. I watch TV without watching it, family come into the room and stand and watch me. I know they're there, but it's annoying, I hate them looking at me. I wait for them to leave. I feel angry at everything, as everything seems so pointless. My duvet moves with me, it's like an extension of my body, protecting me from the world I can't deal with. I move from bed to sofa, to floor to sofa and back to bed, but it is my constant companion, one that can't talk, thank God. It's just there without its presence needing acknowledgement. I don't like to sleep alone, I hate the night. This is when my mind is most active. Mum sleeps beside me sometimes, it can help. When I do sleep, I hate waking, because the moment I do, I'm faced with the sickening realisation that I have another day to get through. I'm so angry and frustrated, I cry a desperate plea for help, but instead people get angry and ignore it, ignore me. They don't want to accept that this is happening, so turn a blind eye and step over the issue. I'm left to feel stupid and pathetic. Being viewed in this way only makes me feel worse, it makes me more upset and frustrated. No one understands, and they don't want to. Or is it me that doesn't want them to? I contemplate my methods, which options I will use to bleed my body empty or simply drown in booze. I do not trust anyone, not anyone. I doubt everyone's intentions. I will not allow myself to believe that anything anyone says is true, for I have been deceived, let down, lied to and taken as a fool. No one can get close to me now, because to allow that to happen would mean opening myself up to be hurt. Everyone lies, and when the people, person, you thought cared about you as much as they proclaimed, turns out to be a complete liar, I no longer can believe that anyone can truly love.